Hey guys, Jeff here with Corsair. Today I'm doing a build in our Graphite Series 780T. But this isn't just any ordinary build. We're building it for our friends over at Able Gamers for them to show off at their booth this year at PAX East 2015. Able Gamers is a nonprofit charity that aims to improve the overall quality of life for people with disabilities utilizing the power of video games. By providing grants of technology, Able Gamers enables individuals with disabilities to experience social and recreational situations in video games that are often off limits. These experiences open a virtual window into an otherwise inaccessible world. The Graphite Series 780T case has custom Able Gamers graphics that were done by our friends at PC Junkie Mods. The motherboard is an ASUS Z97-A and we'll be using an Intel Core i7-4790K CPU. Cooling the CPU will be a Hydro Series H100i liquid CPU cooler. We'll also be installing 16 gigabytes of Vengeance Pro memory and a 240 gigabyte Force LS SSD. Powering everything will be an RM1000 PSU. So why do we need such a powerful PSU? Well, last but not least, we'll be installing not one, but two GTX 980s. Let's go ahead and get started on the build. First, I'll place the CPU onto the motherboard. Be sure to line up the arrow on the CPU with the one on the socket to be sure it's oriented correctly. Next, we'll install the rear I.O. shield and motherboard. The center standoff is a guide to help line up the motherboard. Once the guide is through the center mounting hole, the other mounting hole should be lined up with the standoffs underneath. Next is the PSU. I'm mounting it with the fan facing down so it pulls in cool air from underneath the case. I'm also going to run the 24 pin cable and the 8 pin CPU power cable. Up next we'll attach the front I.O. panel connections for our power and reset switches along with the hard drive activity light. We'll also plug in the front USB 3.0 ports and the front audio ports to the motherboard. And at this time, we'll also connect the case fans to the integrated fan controller and run power to that as well. Now we'll add the CPU cooler. I like to start with the back plate first. I'm installing the fans as an exhaust. Now the radiator and fans can be attached to the top of the case using the eight short screws that came in the mounting kit. Then we'll remove the plastic cover from the pump, attach the magnetic mounting bracket, and then tighten it down with the thumb screws. I'll also attach the radiator fans to the power lead on the pump. Next, I'll mount the SSD and run a SATA power cable to it. I'll also use the SATA power cable to power the CPU cooler. Then we'll go ahead and add the SATA data cable. Now, we'll add the 16 gigabytes of DDR3 Vengeance memory. Lastly, I'll remove the PCI slot covers and install the GPUs. And let's not forget the SLI bridge. All right, the build is complete. The last step is to turn it on and make sure everything works. This is a great gaming system with some awesome hardware, and it's also going to help bring awareness to a great cause. Special thanks goes out to all our friends at the Able Gamers Foundation. If you'd like to learn more about what they do, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, here's how to reach us.